A male magazine calls Daniels the most sought-after woman in the United States after she meets Donald Trump. The penthouse cover featuring porn star Stormy Daniels debuted Tuesday, with the magazine dubbing her the most wanted woman in America, after revealing an alleged sexual tryst with President Donald Trump. Daniels is captured posing seductively with an American flag wrapped around her otherwise nude chest. Earlier this month, Page Six broke the story that Daniels would be stripping down for the long-running men's magazine, giving Penthouse an interview as well. She answers a lot of questions about Trump that Anderson Cooper didn't ask, a source told the New York Post, with a publicist adding, It's a great feature, she looks amazing. That spokeswoman wouldn't say how much Penthouse paid Daniels for the feature. Daniels had already made headlines on Tuesday by appearing on The View and unveiling a sketch of a man she says threatened her in a Las Vegas parking lot in 2011, after she tried to publicize her 2006 alleged sexual encounter with then-businessman Trump. Rehashing the story to the women on The View Tuesday, Daniels told the panel that the man approached her as she was getting her infant daughter out of the car to attend a mommy and me exercise class. I noticed him because he was sort of well-dressed and nothing about him alarmed me," she told the women in her first live television interview since the hush money payment given to Daniels by President Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen was unveiled. I really thought he was somebody husband not wanting to be in whatever his wife was doing. When she noticed his reflection in her car's window she expected him to ask for directions. Instead the man threatened the adult film actress and her daughter, telling her to forget about the story leave Mr. Trump alone. Upon unveiling the sketch, Daniel's attorney Michael Avenatti said they would pay a $100,000 reward for the identity of the man, and asked for tips to be sent to idthethug at gmail.com. We want to get to the bottom of who this is, and we think we know who this is, but we want to confirm it, Avenatti told the view's audience. While many aspects of Daniel's liaison with the now president had already come out in the press thanks, in part, to the 2011 interview she did with In Touch Weekly, which the magazine didn't publish until this January it was details about this threat that became the headline out of her 60 Minutes interview last month. I was in a parking lot, going to a fitness class with my infant daughter, she explained, and a guy walked up to me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, it's a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom, and then he was gone, Daniels said. To 60 Minutes, Daniels said she did not report the encounter to police at the time because she was scared. She reiterated that point to The View's co-host Megan McCain on Tuesday. I was scared, it was expressly what he told me not to do, Daniels said of taking the threat to authorities. She also pointed out that if she had gone to the police a public record would have been produced and she likely would have had to explain that she had a previous alleged sexual encounter with Trump, which is why the threat took place. Honestly one of the main reasons I didn't say anything is I didn't tell my husband at the time, she said of her one night stand with Trump, to go home and say, I had this guy attack me, oh and by the way he did this because of this. I didn't want him to think I was a bad mom and I put our daughter in danger. McCain asked why Daniels had never detailed the threat until the 60 Minutes interview, as the porn star had spoken off the record to news outlets, including ABC News, about her encounter with Trump, then running for president, in the weeks before the election. The adult film actress replied that she didn't want to be asked the question McCain had just asked why not call the cops. I did tell quite a few people actually from back then, Daniels then volunteered, I told family members and two friends and people that I worked with. At that point Avenatti jumped in to say that there was no way his client could fabricate the man's face. This is a very detailed sketch, he said. He explained how the sketch had been made by a woman named Lois Gibson who often works with the FBI she found Stormy to be very credible, Avenatti added. Co-host Joy Beher pointed out that the man looks like an actor, sort of. That's what stood out to me because I thought, honestly, that he was, you know, sort of handsome, Daniels said. 
of an ad he had planned to release the drawing publicly last week, but the raid of Trump attorney Michael Cohen's office and hotel room delayed the unveiling. Due to the FBI raids of Mr. Cohen's office slash home and a subsequent request we received this morning to delay the release of the forensic sketch of the thug that threatened Mize Clifford to leave Trump alone, we will not be releasing the sketch or reward details today, timing TBD Avenatti tweeted last week after the Monday morning raid. Cohen was responsible for giving Daniels $130,000 in hush money in October 2016 in exchange for her signing a non-disclosure agreement that barred her from talking about her alleged sexual encounter with Trump. Avenatti has made a number of legal maneuvers to prevent Daniels from having to pay damages for violating NDA, which the lawyer had argued is invalid since Trump never signed on as a party. Cohen, for his part, has said he paid Daniels personally, and Trump has backed that account up. Let me just say, I work in the adult business and I'm a better actress than he is, Daniels replied to a clip of you played showing Trump denying he knew about the hush money payment. The longtime Trump fixer was in federal court Monday trying to prevent prosecutors from examining the content seized from the FBI's raid on Cohen's properties a week before. Daniels and Avenatti showed up at the hearing and then spoke to press waiting outside. For years Mr. Cohen has acted like he is above the law, he has considered himself and openly referred to himself as Mr. Trump's fixer, he has played by a different set of rules, or should we say, no rules at all, Daniels told the crowd, he has never thought that the little men, or especially women, even more women like me mattered. That ends now, the porn star said. My attorney and me are committed to making sure that everyone finds out the truth and the facts of what happens, and I give my word that we will not rest until that happens, Daniels said. Pointing to Daniels' appearance outside the courtroom today, McCain said she thought it looked like a publicity stunt, mentioning how Daniels seemed to be benefiting financially from the headlines, as she's embarked on a Make America Horny Again strip club tour. Can I say, first of all, I did not name the tour, she said, calling the name awful and explaining how a strip club owner in the Carolinas dubbed her appearance there after the Trump campaign slogan. I'm making more money, but I'm spending so much more, my daughter, we have to hire a tutor now, and I have like bodyguards, you don't even want to know their food bill, because I have to feed them three times a day, and they are big, Daniels said to laughs, yes, I am dancing more, yes. I am making more money, but I am spending more money. Daniels said that her ambition was not to move out of the adult film industry using the money from her scandal, but instead had wanted to keep growing as a director. I had a passion project of mine in the works for the last several years to direct a horror movie and those people that were my investors completely abandoned me, Daniels said. Without a beat, Beher asked, will Trump be in the movie? McCain also asked what the end game was for the porn star. On a selfish note, it is my chance to defend myself and make people realize how and why this happens, so I can tell my side, Daniels replied, that is my selfish reason, not going to lie about the part. Avenatti chimed in too saying, we want the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You should not be afraid or bullied, Daniels added.